What's going on guys, Josh here from Momentum Productions and today I'm going to show you how to create your own lens effects. Light leaks are effects that allow light to leak into the camera body. However, we can artificially make these light leaks. And before we get started with today's video, I want to make sure that you give it a like and subscribe to my channel with those notifications turned on so you don't miss any more of my content. Also, big shout out to Kyler Holland who actually taught me how to create these light leaks and you can check out a collaboration that we did together right here. To start off, we need a camera and we need to find a dark background. Here I'm using my sofa. So I grabbed my camera, propped it on a pillow and made sure that it was pointing at a dark background. Make sure that your ISO is set to its lowest setting and make sure that your focus is set to infinite focus. That way the background is blurred out as much as possible. I'll tell you why when we start editing this footage. Next, we're gonna need a reflective surface that's gonna actually exaggerate the amount of light that's coming into the camera. Preferably a mason jar or a magnifying glass, anything that is a reflective surface, but make sure that it's covering up the whole lens. Now, if you do decide to go with the mason jar, make sure it's wet because those water droplets create beautiful bokeh. You can see a clear difference between a dried up cup and a cup that had water in it. Next, we'll need a light source. You can actually use the LED flash that's on your phone, or you can use a portable LED light. Place the cup directly in front of the lens and then start moving the light source around the cup. You'll begin to notice some beautiful light leaks appearing in your camera. Also make sure to create smooth and dynamic movements with your light source. Don't make any abrupt movements. You can also shoot this at 60 frames per second, that way you can slow it down in post-production to make your movements even smoother. You can even use an RGB light source. That's exactly what I did, so you can create colors like red and blue, and you'll be surprised how good the colors turn out. Awesome, now we have our light leak footage. Now before we get to the editing process, I wanted to show you another quick DIY tip, and that is creating a haze slash clear vignette on your lens. This creates a dreamy effect, and all you need is a rubber band and a plastic bag. Place the plastic bag over your lens, then cut out the plastic that you need that covers up the lens, then cut a hole in the center of the bag. Once you've done that, attach it to the lens by using a hair tie or a rubber band. Now you can see the effect that this creates. Pretty dreamy, right? All right, now let's go into the editing process. All right, so here we are in Final Cut Pro and basically everything that I do in Final Cut Pro is exactly the same in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, if you look at my timeline, I've already selected my clip. I slowed it down to 25% simply because I want it to look more cinematic and I just like the slow motion of romance. And our light leaks are gonna actually help us out quite a bit to capture the moment. I did not color correct this clip. This is fresh out of the camera. It's only slowed down to 25% speed. As you can see here in my media library, I have a ton of light leaks here. I use the RGB light to create some beautiful blues and reds and even greens. So let me mess around with that. Let me actually import a blue light leak here. And as I mentioned earlier, you can actually shoot these light leaks at 60 frames per second and slow it down half speed just so it's a little bit smoother. And now we have our light leak on top of our clip that we selected. And if you notice here, our light leak dominates the lower clip because we have to adjust the compositing mode. So make sure that your light leak clip is selected, then go to compositing and under compositing, select blend mode. Now compositing is going to be found under effects. So all we have to do is click on normal and then go down to add. And it's going to automatically fuse into that lower clip. Now, because the background of this light leak was black, we were able to easily incorporate it into our footage here. That's why we need to record in front of a black background. It automatically keys out when we do that compositing mode. Now, if you notice here, it's still very dominating over the clip. There's just too much in my opinion. I want a lot less. So we can actually go over to opacity and drop down the opacity, just like that. And now we have a fainter light leak, all right? Now, what we can also do is change the hue. So I'm gonna go over to Final Cut Pro's color corrector and we can change the color of the light leak. 
we can mess around with the highlights and we can change the color of the blues. We can make it green, basically any color we want. We can make it red. Red is a really good one for romance. So let's go over to red and let's see what we can do here. Let's play back the clip and look at that. We have a very romantic light leak. And guys, it's as easy as that. And you can notice we have really beautiful bokeh here. So if I turn up the opacity, you can see the bokeh. You can see those circular figures in the image. You see that right there? Actually, let me go back here. You can really see that bokeh here. Really pretty, really pretty. So these are very easy light leaks that you can do at home. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.